you very big welcome to everyone today's layout is one that i created for auntie vera scrap and craft as i am on her design team for the month of november the theme this month is i think she was an aussie the core products we are using this month are from courtier creations and they are from the sunburnt country collection as the name describes this collection is very much australiana themed and as soon as I laid eyes on this gorgeous paper, it's the paper 03A from the Sunburnt Collection, I knew that I was going to scrap a picture that I had taken a while ago of my in-law's house that is set in a beautiful part of the country. And at the front is the beach and their house is nestled, as you can see, beautifully amongst all these gorgeous trees. So as you saw, I matted my photo with some Oh, it was uh, from the Kaiser Craft pad in D Indigo Skies. And I just wanted them to pop a little bit more. So I'm just going to be inking the edges of that paper with this memento ink that's called Grey Flannel. Sorry, Grey Flannel. I absolutely love this ink when you want to add something, but it's not quite. You don't really want black. So it's in between grey and black. Love it, love it, love it. And then my photo needed an extra little mat just to help it pop off that page. And I thought that since there was a lot of green happening, I would use the complementary colour red. I actually took a lot of inspiration from my photo. And because the house is surrounded by these gorgeous gum trees and a lot of other Australiana trees, which I do not know the botanical names for, I'm so sorry, but I'm a little bit not up to date with all those names. I decided that I wanted my photo to appear or give the illusion that the photo was also tucked amongst all these gorgeous gum leaves. So that is why I traced around where I thought I was going to place my photo, just with a pencil. And then I take my X-Acto knife and I'm just going to do, would you call this fussy cutting? I'm just trimming some of the I'm not really trimming, I'm just cutting around some of the leaves so that I can get the, that illusion that the leaves are embracing the photo and that the photo is nestled amongst the gum leaves. Oh my gosh, I hope you, I hope you really understand what I'm trying to say here because words are eluding me today. I really do like the effect that this gave in the end, so it was worth the time that it took to cut all my little little leaves out or I didn't really cut them out oh, can't think of the word fussy cut them out whatever you want to call it and my next thing was I wanted a little bit more color around the photo so I've taken my distress oxide ink and this color is bundle sage I believe and I'm just going to ink lightly just around the photo so that the top of the paper doesn't look as bland I just thought that it needed some extra color there was something still lacking so just to add a little bit more texture to my paper I found this stamp in my stash I had no idea I had it but I thought it would make a nice background stamp and I'm using once again a distress oxide and I believe that the color is called shaded lilac and the reason for this color was I thought everything was looking a bit too green and in the photo you can see so much of that gorgeous blue sky so I wanted to introduce some of that blue sky back into the paper I hope that makes sense for you. For some reason, things were still looking a little bit bland, so I decided I was going to add some stencil in, and I'm going to be using my new toy, and this is Inca Gold, and the colour is graphite. It's not quite black. It's just a lovely dark shade of grey, and I absolutely love it. This is one of my chosen core products for the month of November from Antivirus Scrap and Craft, and I must admit, I've become a big fan of the Inca Gold products and I'm just using a Kaiser Craft stencil from my stash which is called Spotty and I do believe this has become one of my go-to stencils. I am now using the gorgeous ephemera pack that came with the Courtier Collections core products and it's the Sunburnt Collection, the Sunburnt Country Collection, sorry, and I loved that Waratah that I put in the right hand corner there. Absolutely gorgeous. And I, I am a big fan of Waratahs. So now I am just going through and getting some of the extra gum leaves and surrounding my photo with more gum leaves. This, I just played around with it with 
just add in and taking gum leaves away to allow I got some a composition that I was happy with. And as you can see, I've also added that gorgeous kangaroo in the bottom left hand corner. Now the reason for the kangaroo is because it reminds me of the fact that whenever we visit kangaroos are everywhere and sometimes driving on the country roads you've got to watch out for the kangaroos especially in the early hours and at uh, towards dusk they just jump out out of the car so it's something that we've got to constantly be aware of and drive accordingly i'm now just framing my layout and i'm just using my the the graphite the inca gold graphite which i love it just gave it that little bit of a frame without me just a bit of a highlight i guess and that is it very quick layout which i absolutely love i did do some journaling down the bottom and the journaling really it's very simple it just reads view of granny and pop's house from from the beach so very simple very effective so I'm taking this opportunity. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this very quick layout and yes, a bit of Australiana theme, something unusual and I've absolutely enjoyed it. Thank you all so much. Take care. Bye.